Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to discuss how to get the Rufius's Bit PvP achievement as well as the Raging Cinder Bee Mount without doing much PvP. Completing the achievement isn't that complex if you follow the steps I'm about to show you, so let us get right to it. First of all, I should mention that there will be PvP whether you like it or not, it's just about if you participate in it. While farming for this achievement, I also died a lot, but in the end, it was all worth it. Let us start with the first part of the achievement, and that is the Unbound Battle. This one is pretty simple, you just have to complete each PvP world quest once. You won't be able to see the world quests if you have War Mode turned off, so make sure to have it on all the time. The world quests change every day, and their rotation is random. If the world quest Elemental Excavation is up, for example, it won't be up the next day, but the day after it might be. It happened to me a couple of times. And another thing worth mentioning is that you might not see the world quest serving the Queen. This is because the world quest is located in the City of Threads mini zone inside Ashkahed, so always check up there as well. The next part of the achievement is the Champion's Tour, The War Within, which requires you to complete each of the PvP world quests 5 times. This may seem like a lot, and it is, but you can complete the world quests more than once per day if you have multiple characters. The minimum level requirement is level 70, so if you have, let's say, 5 level 70 ults, you can complete this pretty quickly, basically one part of this achievement a day. And once you complete it, you will also get the purple stack shell, but in the pet journal it is called Rubyeyed stack shell. And I still didn't get it, so it might be bugged. Then there are four similar achievements, Tour of Duty Isle of Dorne, The Raining Deeps, Hallowfall and Ashkahed. These require you to earn 1000 honor in their respective zones. You might be thinking, damn, that's a lot of PAP, I ain't doing that. But you're wrong. You can easily complete these four achievements by simply being AFK and waiting for the war chest to come in. This might be either a breeze or a nightmare, depending on the faction population on your realm. For me, it was a breeze and I almost always got the chest. Each chest will give you 150 honor, some conquest points, as well as a chance for some recipes and other items you can sell on the auction house. Or learn, it's all up to you. And the last part of the achievement is the Sparking Battle achievement, which will probably take you the longest. This requires you to complete the weekly quest Sparks of War 20 times. This is where it depends on how many ults you have. I have quite a good amount of them, and the level requirement is to be level 70. You can finish this achievement in one day, one week, one month, or in 140 days. Yeah. It all depends on how many ults you have and if you are willing to do the quest. To do the quest, the easiest way is to collect chests, war chests, or while collecting globs of wax. This for me was the fastest way to complete the quest. Just roam around the zone and collect globs of wax and chests. Also, don't forget to have your war mode turned on and be in the zone where the quest is supposed to be completed. And while you're collecting globs of wax, I should also mention that the slime event and the big treasure where kobolds come in and steal your treasure both don't award any sparks, so I advise you to just skip these events. After you finish this achievement, you will also get a toy called Forged Flag of Victory. And after you're done with all of these, you will get the Raging Cinder Bee Mount, Slayer of the Deep's title, Ruby Eyed Stack Shell, if they fix it, and the Forged Flag of Victory. And the random question of the day is, do you sleep on your side, back or your belly? For me, I fall asleep when I'm laying on my belly, so I guess I sleep like that as well. I wish you good luck and a lot of nerves in your farm for this achievement. Thank you so much for watching the video, like it if you liked it, and make sure to hamstring that subscribe button as well. Stay strong, don't forget to turn on war mode, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!